The Wusun were first mentioned by Chinese sources as living together with the Yuaji between the Kilian Mountains and Dunhuang, Gansu, although different locations have been suggested for these toponyms. Beckwith suggests that the Wusun were an eastern remnant of the Indo Aryans, who had been suddenly pushed to the extremities of the Eurasian steppe by the Iranian peoples in the 2nd millennium BCE. In 162 BCE, the Yuaji were finally defeated by the Zongnu, after which they fled Gansu. According to Zhang Qian, the Yuaji were defeated by the rising Zongnu Empire and fled westward, driving away the Sy Scythians from the Ili Valley in the Zetisu and Zungaria area. The Sai would subsequently migrate into South Asia, where they founded various Indo Scythian kingdoms. After the Yuaji retreat the Wusun subsequently settled the modern province of Gansu, in the valley of the Wushuihi lit. Raven Water River, as vassals of the Zongnu. It is not clear whether the river was named after the tribe or vice versa. The Wusun subsequently took over the Ili Valley, expanding over a large area and trying to keep away from the Zongnu. According to Shiji, Wusun was a state located west of the Zongnu. When the Zongnu ruler died, Li Jiaomi refused to serve the Zongnu. The Zongnu then sent a force against the Wusun but were defeated, after which the Zongnu even more than before considered Li Jiaomi a supernatural being, avoiding conflict with him. In the 5th century CE the Wusun were pressured by the Roran and may have migrated to the Pamir Mountains. They are last mentioned in Chinese historical sources in 436 CE, when a Chinese envoy was sent to their country and the Wusun reciprocated. It is possible that they became subsumed into the later Hephthalites. After this event the Wusun seemed to disappear from Chinese records. Wusun were last mentioned in 938 CE alongside Tuyuhun and Mohe, as tributary states to the Khitan Liao. A later 7th century commentary to the Hanshu by Yan Shigu says about Wusun's appearance, among the barbarians in the western regions, the look of the Wusun is the most unusual. The present barbarians who have green eyes and red hair, and look like macaque monkeys, are the offspring of this people. Now let's look at Wusun's DNA and unravel the mystery of where they went. The Wusun were an Indo-European people because they are descendants of the Yamnaya people, who formed the Indo-European peoples. Now let's look at which modern society they are most similar to. Of today's peoples, they are most similar to Tajiks. Now let's take a look at the ancestry of Tajiks. Tajiks are descendants of four ancient peoples and Wusun is one of them. Moreover, Tajiks have all the characteristics that Yan Shigu said Wusun had. Here we deduce that the Wusun people migrated to the Pamir Mountains due to the pressure of Roran and assimilated into the Hephthalites. Today, the Tajik people are partly descended from Wusun.